Captain Falcon. Okay. This is, this is gonna be interesting. Inkling's kind of a short character, so I can feel like the landing there might be a little bit more difficult to land, especially one, with how good Jack go. is at parrying, so glad they sound goes down. Ooh, just turn around up to it actually. Scoop them up in the air. Got a little bit of percent on, so maybe the nares and the bears could lead it to grab a little bit more easier. I can see that being really good at this percentage against a character like Falcon. Look at that, he got a trip. Yeah, man, I'm I don't blame him for doing that move at all. Oh, and there's that roller already at 73, and that could have been a lot more, but you know what? We have a good position here. Hit or no hit. Oh, okay. they're out of shield. Oh. Yeah. That's one of the hard things to do. It's really bad habit to break, actually. If you don't tech, you actually don't get buried by roller. But a lot of people in those tech chase situations, they'll always want to tech, and so that leads for a free roller from your opponent. Oh, hey, okay, we're seeing some new variations here. Another one. Okay, getting the jabs here. Sending them off stage. The option gonna be okay. Roller back on, but yes, the jump cancel. That's gonna get around those out of shield options. Very smart. Ooh, a little bit of a display of patience there, and it worked out. Okay, kind of. Uh, he he falsified the first nair, or sorry, uh, down air, but then he went for a second one. Kind of spooked him. Oh, oh that's taking not. a little bit too long for it to come out, but now he's got himself in a good position. Goes for a double up air. What's the option gonna be? Run off to air, not quite, and the landing hitbox from that up B is gonna be able to give Chag just a little bit of safety. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, that that first in air seemed fairly safe, but landing with the second. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that had implications for sure. Very nice stuff from Chag, gonna be able to get that booyah, close out the stock. And I, I noticed something really interesting. I saw a, a bear into grab. That looked true for Captain Falcon. I can see that happening. It, that used to be a setup that he had to smash for, so but it's possible. Oh, barely missing. Barely whipping that up air. Intercept him in the air. Slap off the cover to ground. Yes, and you're going to use that to intercept the landing from Captain Falcon. Put him off stage with that Naren affair. Potentially get the edge guard to slap bomb again, exerting that, that pressure. Into that the roller, fun. into the up tilt, up air, and that closes. Never mind. I, I thought that almost closed out the stock. I got a Heavy little bit boy. too hyped for it. Heavy boy. That splat bomb, though, that started that whole thing off was beautiful. Just beautiful. Oh my god. I, I just can't believe that. That was just Jack controlling the, the space so well. He did the hard splat bomb to be able to cover all of the ground where he was trying to land and then yep. keep him in the air. And then he was able to intercept them and then keep him at the ledge, continue on with the roller, and just get so much damage off of that. Great yeah. conversion overall from Jack that time around. Yeah, because the second you have to start thinking about the splat bomb, you're not thinking about the roller that's coming two seconds later. And then, up, uh, up, uh, booyah, booyah. Uh, I'm sure as an Inkling main yourself, this is very educational. Yes. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! All right, go to town and city. Oh, thought he could get the punish. Oh, wow, and that bear beat out the rapid jab. That's a little sad, actually. But you know what? That's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. First hit in there. Ah, yeah. Yeah, the oh, no jump. Dream. Oh, it didn't quite go for anything else, but potential check chase. He tried to elicit something with that dash back, but uh, didn't quite get anything out of it. Now, Leap is, at least in this game, from what I've seen, he's been a little uh, poor at landing these nares. He's landing right in front of him, just completely whiffing, and then he gets punished for him pretty hard. Ooh, almost got some weird cross up the eye. Not that one. Quite work out though. Oh, these parries though. Really confident. Lots of practice has been put into this. Right, we're gonna get back. Okay. I can I can smell the up B. There we go. Very getting smart. killed off at the top of lot. I mean, uh, I think Leaf has to really start to evaluate his play here. Why is he getting killed by this up B or this up air so often? Well, the first couple of times it was Booyah, and that time around he was trying to pull out back in the position. You know how a lot of people in Smash 4 roll back in the position. So that was just a great call out from Jack, really. Okay, jabbing him up. And I love how even when Leaf gets inked up, he still goes on the offensive. Oh, trying to go for a grab box or something like that. Relatively safe, though. Yeah. He's landing there and puts himself in a good position again, but he just gets hit back again. What's the option going to be? Nair into not another roller, but still jump cancel wow. into the control and keeps up the pressure with that parry. Overlapping percents right about now. Yeah. Okay, yeah, Jeff's not going to take that out, but he is going to put him all the way back to the other end of the stage, and the up air is not going to kill. 
Maybe if it wasn't on Town City, but whatever. Forward air, forward throw will definitely take that one out. Finally, I see a kill. I, I see that never kill in Smash 4, so nice change to see. Another Booyah? Not quite going to be it yet, but uses the flat bomb to try and control where he lands. Oh, uh, beware of that flat bomb. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, that's a dead token. That is a dead token. That was just kind of a double whammy. He, he, he could have either died from the hitbox from the rising up B, or he could have uh, gotten clipped like he did right there with that neutral air. Oh, wow. And, uh, that dare didn't even have the time to come out. It just ended up getting hit by a dare. Just getting completely stuffed. Next up scenario. Oh, this platform has so many consequences tied to it. Ah! Oh, yeah, that's, 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 that was very nice. Yeah, that right, was very two nice. Two over you know that the sad thing is that Leaf really had like confidence in his ability to you know exploit that platform. He really wanted to send him there. He didn't know he was gonna get him killed though. Uh, I mean that was just unfortunate. He did rapid jab and didn't quite catch him there, so he just was able to reverse that super easily. He could even done the the 11 hit roll tech, mm. but he didn't even need to. He just said full up, and then he got that set up into Nair and Fair. That was really nice. Yeah, I saw last night, Fair killed very early. Uh, just, wow. I'm, I'm surprised that it's power. Okay, good grab. That's a really good forward throw as well, because it uh, applies ink to him. Oh, good spot dodge. Or air dodge. Okay. Alright, the rapid back comes out. Already starting off. You know, as, as good as I think Captain Falcon's dare is, uh, it doesn't really have that many active frames, and it has a lot of end lag if you miss, so uh, it's it's something to be careful about. Okay, He's good. trying to, it, to set up a two frame in that example. Like, it, it, I, can, I don't see why he shouldn't just because it's so safe, uh, at least on the ledge. But here we go. Big combo potential coming from Chag. Doesn't get the dare to set up into the up air. But he's still in a good position, already getting 86% off of one big uh, combo. Oh, catching that up B before. Ah, ah, not catching that one though. Yeah, that can kind of happen. You can reverse it at the very last moment and then still get the grab box out. But that should... Ah, Jack not quite as consistent on the dares as he was at MSM. He's not quite landing them as he did uh, that time around. Get yeah, is pretty solid, even when he's buried in the ground like that. I thought just the pick up the animation of the up smash. Oh, that gentleman. Huh, strange knee. Up throw, booyah? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's very consistent with that. Yeah, I'm really surprised because you've seen before uh, he actually aired out through one of them before, and then the next one he got hit by it. I don't know if it's just the, the true percent or what, but he's been very good at landing those. He might just be Captain Falcon's physics. Uh, he is uh, pretty easy to combo. Good cross up there. Yeah, the speed from uh, the speed from Inkling. Oh, okay, okay. Nice awareness. Very good reaction time from uh, Leafy. Okay, catches the jump back to stage. Very nice. How did you get back around? He does not. He goes to the other side. I was starting to think Chag was uh, getting a bit more wary about that a B catching his rolls, but uh... okay. Wow, wow, wow. If it wasn't for that air dodge, I would have connected. We would have had a dead octopus. Or, sorry, squid. Mm, okay. okay. Trying to go for the roller. Not going to be able to find anything, though, but still get that parry. Oh, boy. Yep, there it is. Yeah, Try to jump cancel that roller and intercept with something, but at least the pack air was already out at that point. Okay, 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 yeah. Okay, we're nice and even now. It's still a thing, it's still a thing! Oh my god! No, no, we're probably gonna live. Yeah, okay, okay, 57%. I was about to be really impressed and all of a sudden I wasn't anymore. Poor that Falcon, man. In Smash 4, I feel like that would have actually killed. Hey, you know what? That looked like Smash 4 for a minute there. I'm, I'm still thoroughly impressed. Oh, not quite, not quite, not quite. Now we got those rapid jabs in. Shag has to control, and we saw how big his combos can get, so we'll have to see how he continues this around. The pressure, the control, the up tilt, the nares, putting him off stage again. One more time, catches him on the spot dodge. Will he get the edge guard? He gets the ledge drop. No F smash, though, and he gets the back throw. Puts himself back in a position, but does to get a ledge guard. Into the up B, and that's not, not going to take it. Still takes a corner DI. He keeps himself alive here. Oh, wow. That was... He's really been getting caught by that. Yeah. 
<laughs> that was kind of domination, boys and girls. Yeah, Chak has been getting hit by that up a lot. Just in general, he's been reading where he's drifting with the jump, and that up he catches it every time. So, Chak still has two more games to work with, so I can see him bringing it back around. Well, we'll have to see. It's just going to be a big mix of game after that. Yeah, I think uh, Jack's gonna have to be very, uh, very wary about how he comes back to the ledge. Because whenever he rolls, just does a regular old roll, he gets caught with that up beat. But I think Jack knows this. Hey, good parry. Jack is shown. Oh, picks him up at the front hit of the up air. It does cover like a wide sideways range, so you're able to take off people like that very nicely. And you know, Leafy's just taking what he knows is working and runs with it. I don't blame him at all. Oh! It's just the people's elbow. Well, it's not quite an elbow anymore. Oh, yeah, not it's, anymore. It's, it's like the forearm now. Yeah. It's not quite the range that it had in Smash 4, but still able to catch people like that. Roller, it is. It does pretty much lose to a lot of hitboxes that are already out, so very great awareness from Leaf. Right. Finally gets it there to put him on stage. Doesn't get the edge guard though. Check dropping these a lot. That's a lot of opportunities to edge guard Captain Falcon that pretty much are three stocks. You know, Captain Falcon's uh, ability to just kind of run away from trouble, it, it allows him to do a lot of shield pressure. Uh, not quite, not quite. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, catches him on the landing leg. He just tried to go for a read there on the platform, but it didn't work out the way. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Whiffing those hits. Not really getting punished for it. <laughs> okay, what are you doing there, buddy? Alright, grab that. Put him off stage one more time. Awesomely getting him with it. Nice shield. Very good defense. Get back air out of shield. That actually goes out of another stock. Now leaves up a whole stock. We'll have to see how Chag tries to bring this around. Or though I heard potentially going to game five now. Oh, these classes. Oh, man. Leafy is aggressive. Able to get platform extension, calls out the jump. He gets 62% for his troubles there, but he's gonna have to close out the stock very soon before you can get worried about potentially winning this game and set. He can do it. Right now, there are no platforms in town and city, so it's gonna be a little tough. I think uh, Captain Falcon doesn't really have a whole lot of places to land right now. Now he does. Oh. He's trying to shield grab, I think he just got caught on the rapid jab instead. Not quite. Try to throw out a bit more of the up, uh, up smash. Oh, the parry! Okay, yeah, inking him up. Yeah, I think we can take this stock right now. He'll still be okay. He's about one or two combos away from zero to getting him to where he is right now. Okay, good splat bomb. He's always made really good use of the splat bomb, but when he gets up, he's so close to the blast zone. Okay, we making it. We making it. Inkling has a great recovery. Okay, yeah, and Leafy not having that. Yeah, he's, oh. just, he's just trying to avoid this upbeat to save his life. Uh, that time doesn't work out, neither does the down smash. Falcon kick does. He's able to keep the back, but the up air is just going to intercept on the air to air. 123%, big opportunity for Chag to try and bring this back around. Gets that rapid jab out before the upbeat can hit him. And notice how Chag is actually being a lot more safe when he's in his shield. Like, he knows that Captain Falcon can basically just hit that shield once and kind of run away. So he's allowing him to do so, and he's just waiting for Captain Falcon to make an offer. Oh, uh, not Even quite. with the inky spats, enough to be able to catch him at the end of the roller. Ah, not quite! Okay, that time he mixed it up, air dodge through, just so that he wouldn't get grabbed. And now he's got to go through the other side. Let's see how he comes back around. Another air dodge, yes he will. Now he's figured out how to get around these upbeats at the ledge, but he's got to figure out how to close out the stocks real soon. 96%, one roller, but the dash deck's still not enough to do it yet. Chag, another opportunity to come back, but he's got to be careful that upbeat. He air dodges through one more time oh. and tries to get the roller in, but the dash attack just beats it out and he's able to bring it back to game five. Yeah. You know, I, I kind of envisioned that Chag was going to go for uh, a roller, but that dash attack. Dash attack taking out that roller before it can even do any damage. Yeah. Man, what a set.
Bring it back to game five. I feel like Captain Falcon's one of those characters, if you let the set drag on longer, then he gets more opportunities to really bring things back around. But I'm seeing the adaptation from Jack. He's not just doing normal jump, he's doing jump and air dodge to avoid that down for his Captain Falcon. That time around didn't quite work out the way he wanted to because he got back on the ground, tried to come back to the stage, and just got clipped by Roller at the end. Ooh, okay, so the Palutena pick. One, go! And yeah, uh, as Chag was still kind of getting hit by the up uh, more often than not, uh, he was doing he was doing a little better at a bit. And it looks like he's adapting to uh, a lot of Leafy's defense or uh, offensive options. Okay, good jab, good jab. Yeah, multi-hit jabs are really potent at that part of the stage, or at least on a platform where they're not being dropped off. Oh, man. And you know, maybe Pelotena was picked here for the more potent edgeguarding uh, capabilities. I, mean, well, I think Inkling has good edgeguard capabilities. I think yeah. also just that maybe just trying out a new character because it didn't work out for two games in a row to get the clutch factor in time. We'll have to see, though. Yeah, to say Pelotena has better edgeguarding capabilities in England. It's probably a little unfair, but uh, changing the character, yeah, making me think about his decisions. Left trap, not gonna get anything, just four tilt. I think he, okay, he still has a double jump. Gonna make it back, and he actually gets around that four tilt time. Oh, almost killing with that dash attack. That was a good uh, air dodge as well. Ah, that wasn't the play. No cross up around. That new pillar now's gonna be able to do it. Out of shield, very nice option. Yeah. It looked like uh, Leafy was gonna die anyway. He was trying to air dodge back into the stage. Okay. There for days. Oh my god. Getting carried around. Captain Falcon, unfortunately, fastball character. Very easy to combo. Got a small hurt box. So that's just gonna be free for Paul Tenet to gain. Yeah, that's demoralizing. Yeah. And I like what he's doing too because Captain Falcon really likes to be in the air, being able to pressure with nares, like back airs and stuff like that. But that rising nair just stuffs him out before he can even go in the air and really get stuff going. But you oh. know what? Footstools, they still happen in Ultimate, whether accidental or not, that still takes the stock. Okay. I like it. He, he, he kind of read the roll and just sort of dashed alongside with him. Shield grab range. How does he make it back though? Alright, doesn't get clipped by Dare. Now a big opportunity for Leaf to really bring things oh. around and a big hit against that counter, just gonna get the down throw. Oh goodness. Land with that Dare here. Man, connecting with it successfully. Oh, and he picks a cross up too. Back there, will that be able to? Yep. Yes, it will. Yep. It's a very strong back there. A lot stronger than it was before. All right, let's see if Chag is able to punish him. Okay, yeah, not even allowing the, the jab to conclude. I think Lee was kind of hoping that he would roll behind, but he was pushed back into position where he couldn't, but still got the full hop instead. Very nice stuff. Yeah, Chag's got uh, caught by trying to roll past it before. Oh, the there. Oh, that's probably why he picked Melodina. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> the Nair just stuffing that recovery. Alright, good stuff from Chag. Gonna be able to close it out. Very impressive from Leaf, though. 